Dear guests, welcome back to the channel. Today, let us talk about a QRH procedure called cabin overpressure. Initially, we have talked about what to do when we have dual bleed fall and how to handle it in the previous video. Do check that one out. Now, overpressure is something that we do not want to have. Take a balloon for example. We all know what happens when too much air is put into a balloon. Similarly, we have to keep in mind that the cabin pressurization is well within its limit. Cabin overpressure is not detected by ECAM and one way to notice it is to look at the differential pressure delta P on this ECAM page. This scenario can happen when we have total loss of cabin pressure control. First action is to switch off one pack. It can be either pack 1 or pack 2. Ventilation blower push button to override. Next is extract push button to override. Why do we do this? Well, we want the cabin air to be extracted overboard. Do check out my video on A320 ventilation system for more info. Frequently monitor the delta P. If the differential pressure exceeds by 9 psi, we have to land as soon as possible. This failure is classified as land a sub rate. Pack 1 off, pack 2 off. If it is 10 minutes before landing, make sure that pack 1 is off and pack 2 is off. The ventilation blower and extract push buttons can be set back to auto. And before you open the door, check the differential pressure is zero because any residual pressure may cause the door to swing open violently. 